Sanko AP Physics Experiment Number 12, Harmonic Motion in a Spring. Students can investigate the restorative properties of a spring both through traditional methods and via video analysis. Students will experimentally determine a spring constant by measuring the period of a mass spring system and by measuring the restoring force of the spring. They will learn to edit a video to document the experiment. The kit includes a sturdy spring, pendulum clamp, support stand, and a C-clamp. Required but not included are a video camera or a motion detector and hooked masses. In this experiment, students will be determining the spring constant of a simple spring using simple harmonic motion and the direct method of using hook's law. Now the great method about this is that you can use any mass that you have lying around but also if you have a motion detector, it's a really great way for the kids to visually see what's going on with the spring. Now to start with, you put a smaller mass on the spring and then start oscillating and have the students time how long it takes for 10 periods to go by. Then using the formula for the period of the spring to determine what the spring constant is based on the mass that you are using. Then double the mass, triple the mass, just use a different mass and then have the students investigate the period of this system, measure 10 um, oscillations, and then again calculate what the spring constant should be. For directly measuring the spring constant using Hooke's Law, simply hold a meter stick next to the spring, apply a known mass to it, measure the distance it moves from the equilibrium position. Then either double the weights or take a different mass and measure what that distance is from the equilibrium position I would recommend about four or five data points. Then once you plot them, a force versus displacement from the equilibrium position, you get a nice slope that gives you the spring constant.